And just like that, cake is alive. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is 5.29 on Monday, the 25th of March. And uh, it's absolutely pissing down with rain outside right now. But if I ask my Alexa, if I go, computer, what's the chance of it raining today? No rain is expected today. It's saying that there's no rain, yet it's hissing down outside. She needs to get her head sorted out. Anyway, guys, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Coffee Time with Cobra. And we do have a coffee cup here. Mm. Oh, this is something I've been needing. Uh, I have been doing a spot of traveling. And um, I have been officially using um, this... Uh, Sheila G um, supplement as well as these um, Bonanza Nutrition Pro Antibiotic Recovery Tablets um, for my gym workouts and well the the recovery anyway the Sheila G I take that before bed and I have lost some weight especially around my gut um, I am eating healthily. I'm starting to eat a lot more leafy greens, fruits and vegetables and stuff. And I'm walking. Uh, one of the things that uh, I, my smartwatch has, it has a step counter. And in the app on my phone, I can set the limits of steps per day kind of thing. And one of the things I set for my phone, uh, for for. Through, through the app is I set my step limits so can't see it because of the, the light but you know there you, go, you can roughly see it now okay, you can see it yeah, up top steps and uh, it's also got a heart rate detector blood oxygen levels um, water intake reminder things of that nature and um, it lists how many steps you do well it wants me my doctor wants me to do a minimum of 7,000 steps a day 7,000 steps a day. You're thinking, that doesn't seem like much. It actually is. I can walk two and a half blocks, yeah, to my grocery store, to my oldies. Go shopping in oldies. Get a week's worth of shop, uh, which is the thing we do here in England. And walk back again with my shop. And that's only barely 3,000 steps. So 7,000 steps, if you work it out, is six and a half blocks. One way. Okay. Now, I am slowly building up to that. I'm, I'm maxing out at about three and a half, four thousand steps. The reason why is because of my hips. Um, I, I told you guys a, a while ago, I got hit by a car. And I've been struggling with uh, hip and lower back problems. Uh, mostly hip dysplasia and I've got some sciatic nerve damage in my lower back. I am seeing a, physi a, a physiotherapist about it. Uh, so they're helping me with it. Uh, also, I'm going to get a haircut today, so I'm going to be going into town and uh, getting me a decent fucking haircut because I look like an absolute hobo. Um, I'm meeting up with some friends tonight at about 7, 7.30. Uh, that'll be fun. Uh, we're meeting up at a local pub uh, to discuss a business venture. Uh, it is official. I am... I've officially made plans and got a time frame set for me to move out of here and move up north to just outside of Cambridge here in the UK. Uh, I've lived here four years now and some change and it's time I moved. It's time I moved on. Um, job opportunities for me here. Yeah, there are a few, not going to lie, but problem is, is the traveling. And what I mean by that is, uh, currently I, I I just recently found out I was made redundant. Um, the department I worked for, the the, the uh, um, cyber security department I worked for at, at Amazon, uh, we've been axed. We've completely gone. We've been killed off. All of us. All of our jobs. All 800 and something jobs in our department. My boss is even gone. My district manager is even gone. So it's literally from the king on down. Cut off. So... 
with that being said, um, I'm I am trying I am finding a few from home jobs, but they're mostly just scams. Like, oh yeah, go onto this Telegram and do the, no no just no 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 no. Um, and so I met someone, and they live up in Cambridge. So I'm thinking, two birds, one stone. I'll get to be closer to my family. Which can be a bit of a double-edged sword. Um, and, you know, I get to see and I, where the relationship goes with this person. Um, so, you know, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, I'm not going to complain. Um, and, uh, so I'm going to be meeting up with some of my, my friends to see if this business venture, they're calling it, uh, turns out to be something or, not, or nothing there's a high chance there's going to be nothing um, the person who wants to talk to me about it is one of my old bosses when I worked at uh, Paddy Power he recently quit working there so he finally saw the light as they say he saw the light and realised some of the things I was saying when I was working there make fucking sense um Little bit of an unknown about me is I worked at Paddy Power. For about a year and a half. Started off as an assistant. You know, one of the people you walk in, hand your bet and slip to. And immediately was promoted to assistant manager. And they wanted to make me a manager because my boss, Angus, was looking at jacking it in and going off and doing his own thing. Well, apparently he's jacked it in and gone off and done his own thing. Could be not, could not be more proud of him. And um, one of my old co-workers, Tim, he um, told me in passing. Well, my WhatsApp goes off on my phone. Not this one, but it goes off on my old phone because it's the old work group. And it was Angus, and he was like, Dan, you still around? I'm like, yeah. Why? Can we meet up today? I'm like, what time? Oh, um, later on in the evening. Sure. Yeah. I've got that plan today. What else? Um, now I'm missing out on something else. Oh, glasses. These things, the um, shitty rubber stops that's supposed to rest on your eyes. Um, these things they keep popping off and one popped off while I was away on up in Cambridge and then they're just gone so I've got to go into spec savers and get these fixed oh. so that'll be nice not really uh, I'll get, go get these fixed I may even ask them for a few spare ones on the off chance oh. So I've got to get a haircut and glasses looked at. Um, I genuinely, I know I've got like a list. I should, I, I should, I, I should. Oh, Raspberry Pi. That's another one. I've got to go to uh, CEX and see if they have any Raspberry Pi Model Fours or Fives in. I've got a Model Two. Got a Model Three. Um, as you guys know. I have a little Ponagachi, it's a Model 2W, and I've got a Model 3 in here, um, see, Model 3, this is only a 2, two gigabyte Model 3, but I've got a Model 3, and I want to get a Model 4, or a Model 5, just to mess around with, um, 
So it's like, it, see, doing little projects like a Ponagotchi or whatever does look good on your coding portfolio because it uses Ruby, it uses um, Python, it uses Java, it uses so many different languages and so so easy to use, which is why I love to tell people if you want to get into coding and actually have something visual, get an Arduino or get a uh, Raspberry Pi, you can get pretty cheap. You can get like a, an Arduino kit with like LEDs and, and circuitry and all this fun stuff. You can get them on Amazon for like maybe 35, 40 bucks, you know. And you've got something that you can code, show, make a demo or whatever it is you want to do or various other things, you know. You can easily you know, set that up, put it in your portfolio and say, oh yeah, I know Arduino, I know this, I know that. You know, it, it does look good to... to Potential employers, you know. I've had this Ponagotchi going on now for about a year, year and a half. I've backed up his brain six times, seven times. Mostly because when I'm adjusting or, or designing a script for it, or, or a plug-in, as they're called, um, to, for him to do different things, um, I've got a plug-in that will... Uh, I'm at the point where I'm, I'm learning uh, 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 automated code injection, and um, <laughs> that, that, that's fun. And my poor little Ponagachi can actually do that. Um, but he does it through, because uh, uh, the Pi W2 does have a Bluetooth module, but that module really isn't like, got the range to do anything. So you can buy you can buy adapters now this one this will not work on the Pi W but it will work on the Raspberry Pi 3 now this will do 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, uh, Wi-Fi signal send and receive so this is a good little adapter which is why it was on my uh, birthday wish list and uh, so this I can hook up to my um, my laptop that's got Kali, that's running Kali Linux. Um, it recognizes this adapter with no, no need to download or install drivers or anything. So I just plugged it in, it went, found it. I was like, solid. Run it through some certain softwares, um, Wireshark, Nmapper, Metasploit, things of that nature. Every single, every single program uh, um, doesn't have a problem with the adapter. So, Nice, uh, and it was only it was less than a tenner, so I figured, what the hey, I'll give it a shot. If it doesn't work, fine. If it does work, I, I've got a Wi-Fi card, no matter what, so I can at least put like my printer or something relate Wi-Fi related, uh, 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 make it internet connected. So I've been doing that. I've been messing around with coding plugins and things of that nature, and. I even have a uh, onboard, uh, like a chat GPT, but this one's uncensored, so I can ask it things like, um, and I can even like send it files. So I'm like scan this code. Where am I? I'm, I'm having issues on here, here, here. It'll scan it. It'll run it. It'll check it. And it's like yes, your error is this, da, 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 and it helps me. I don't rely on it. It's not like. Jarvis, code for me, da, 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 and it does it for me. No, 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 no. I like to do the coding myself. I use Visual. I, 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 I use um. I use Python, obviously. Uh, I have a uh, Hmm. That's weird. Where'd it go? There you go. I have a um, Ubuntu. Uh, terminal embedded into my Windows Windows 10 so I can code Python I can code whatever uh, I do have virtual machines also installed I've got a virtual Kali box I've got a virtual uh, Red Hat and a virtual Debian uh, Linux distros so if I need to use any of those distros I can uh, oh, sorry distributions some of you might not even know what distro means um, so yeah, I'm I'm learning 
a whole bunch of wild different things there has been an issue with the Allison website it's the website I learn my uh, my stuff on uh, if I go to Allison right now and log in right here uh, go to my dashboard these are some of the courses I'm currently learning um, these ones I've completed there's my diploma in cybersecurity. There's my CompTIA Basic Cloud, CompTIA uh, 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 TAA Plus Part One and Two, uh, but for some reason it's not showing in Part One. But yeah, they're they're all there. These are some of the other courses I'm learning currently right now: AI language models um, and getting into learning AI and controlling AI. Yes, this is my study schedule. I study Monday to Fridays, midnight and up. So yeah. I've got eight courses left to do. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm well on my way. The website's free. You can get a pro version where there's no ads. I, I, I actually have my ad blocker disabled. See? My uBlock Origin is disabled. I have ad blocker disabled on Allison. Reason why is because I'm learning for free. If they want to show me an ad, I'll, I'll watch it for 30 seconds. A 30 second, 40 second break. Fine by me. I don't care. You know, same as certain content creators on YouTube. I've got you, you blo I've got my, my ad block disabled for certain content creators. Because, you know what? If they want the shekel from me from them putting up the content, go right ahead. Um, but yeah, you can pay to go to premium. As you can see, it's eight euros a month. Uh, exclusive discounts. Your uh, it discounts never expire. Uh, Fifty off. Uh, uh, you get fifty percent off your certification and absolutely zero ads. Um, so it's not bad for eight euros. You know you can study a course, get what you want. Just the fifty percent off the cert alone is bargain, fucking bargain. Um, because some of the certs for for some are are ridiculous. And I mean that. Some of them are ridiculous. Uh, if we go to my certificates real quick. Uh, so yeah, we've got Diploma in Cybersecurity, CompTIA Cloud, CompTIA Part 1, Ego, Machine Learning for Absolute Beginners. Like I said, I've, I've been doing this for a while now. Um, since the whole of 2023, all the way into 2024, I've been doing this. Um, and... These are recognized University of Phoenix um, courses. But because they're American certs, not British certs, I'm going to have to redo all of this at a British un at a British college or university to get the exact same certs, even though I've already got them. So, yeah. So it, it's, it's a real pain in the ass, but you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I'd rather be the 40-something-year-old the going back to uni and being the oldest one in the room and everyone expects I'm not going to know shit. I know my shit. I know what I'm doing. I know how to make, uh, a, you know, set up a fake HTTP server infest the server with freaking crypto jackers or whatever and and, and go to a, a Starbucks coffee or a McDonald's or somewhere like that and use the Ponagotchi to hack your Wi-Fi, grab the brain, hash rate the brain so I've got your password to your, your Wi-Fi now, yeah, and then use that, set up my HTTP server, clone your entry page and hijack your entry page. Now all these people that are coming in using my phone got you to purposely kick people off of your internet connection and funnel them to my HTTP server. So the moment they click that, they re-log in and they click that little yes I agree box and put in their email address or whatever. Thank you. You just agreed to install my crypto jacker. All legal. Uh, yeah, all legal. 
uh, another uh, um, thing I like to do is I like to prove to people that self-serve checkouts are the biggest security flaw in most grocery chains and they just don't know it. When you go to a self-serve checkout and they've got the two fucking little bed levels like, please put your baggings in the bagging aisle, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool, great. If I'm to scan a single banana, an apple, or just whatever item it is, and I run a certain program, I'm not going to tell you what the program is, but if I run a certain program through my Kali Linux phone, which I do have, I have a phone that has Kali Linux as its operating system. It acts as a regular phone. You can call it as a SIM card, all that fun stuff. But all I've got to do is put in a different pin code on the lockout screen, and it boots up my Kali Linux. So I do that. I run the RFID adapter on this app. Beep, beep, beep. Manager comes over because it says a simple basic error. Most managers don't even look what the fucking error is. They just have that little card. They tap it. The moment you tap that card, I've cloned it. Thank you. Now I'm the manager. Beep, 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 beep. Running stuff through. No issues. Go to pay. Swipe. Please wait for a manager. Beep, beep, beep. Receipt is printed. Take the receipt. Take my groceries. I haven't paid. I haven't paid a single fucking penny. In fact, you've refunded me the cost of my groceries. No, I will not tell you what the app is. No, I will not tell you how to do it in detail. I'm just giving you a rundown of how it can be done. And you want to know why? None of you update your security firmware on those devices because you don't know how. Same as the McDonald's terminals. They're all using Windows XP. Yeah. Do you have any idea how many security flaws are in Windows XP? Purposefully embedded in there. You don't update them. You don't... There's no updates for them. Once you get to, I think, Service Pack 2... Or, no, Service Pack 3. Once you get up to Service Pack 3, that's it, you're fucked. You are fucked. There is no updates, no security patches, no nothing. Hell, even certain antiviruses, like malware bytes and various other various other ones, do not support Windows XP anymore. Wah, wah. So, your own operating system is what fucks you. When you can get a free, upgradable installation of a Linux distro, customize that Linux distro... for pennies and then once you've customized it once you can just clone it so it's on every terminal and they've all got the same level of security and it's easier for your IT department to figure out what terminal if any terminal is vulnerable but do people think of this no they don't this is why the biggest money maker for gambling establishments of virtual races understand that let me let, let me say that again if you go into any gambling establishment and they have virtual greyhounds virtual cricket virtual dogs virtual horses virtual any gambling they've even now got virtual boxing okay if there's any v virtual based gambling the house can manipulate the algorithms so you don't win. If you didn't hear me the first time, play the video back and listen again. It's one of the other reasons why I quit working at gam gambling establishments. The house always wins. I will repeat that. 
the house always wins. Started printing an Eldar. I wouldn't say it's a Titan, but it's an Eldar. Knight, here you go, an Eldar Knight, so that's the torso, I have the hips, shins, and a few other things on the 6 inch printer right now, because my 8.5 inch printer is down, uh, because there are some screws uh, in my vat bed that are stripped, and they want damn near... 80 something pounds to have a new vat sent to me which makes no sense because I can add a hundred pounds to that 80 and get a brand new machine and then I've got this one here for parts can you make it make sense Seriously, can you make it make sense? You want to know why? The VAT itself is thirty nine ninety nine. They want to charge me, I think it's like thirty eight something. Literally, damn near the same price for shipping. Just blows my fucking mind. Blows my fucking mind. Absolutely, does my mind in. I am not spending that amount of money when I can go to Facebook Marketplace. Alright. No joke, if I go to Facebook Marketplace, uh, let's go to the fish bowls, Marketplace, and just put in a 3D printer. Alright, here you go. 3D printers near where I live. Oh, look. Just a little bit outside from where I live. Hundred pounds. Thirty pounds. Granted these are all FDM printers. And not resin printers. But oh there you go. Are you gonna do satin four K? It's an Eagleu Satin four K. Right there. Ah, it's in Scotland. Now I'm good, bruv. But, do you see what I'm saying? So, why, why would I want to spend the amount of money that Flash Forge wants for a part when I can buy entire printers for just a little bit more. It, it make it make sense. This is the problem with society today. It's too throwaway. Do you understand? You want to talk about fucking, you know, the environment and all this shit? Okay. Bring back salvage yards where people could fix their own cars. Where it's not a, oh, you've been in a slight fender bender, the car's a write-off. No, all I've got to do is replace the body panels and the bumper. Well, the bumper's going to be 400 euro. That fender's going to be 700 euro. You paid 500 euro for the car, it's a write-off. No, the car is still mechanically fine. I just need to fucking fix the, 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 the fender and the bumper. But again, I digress. This is why we need to get rid of this throwaway society. Stop this whole, just a oil shit. I don't give a shit. Fuck that crap. 
you can fuck right off, right? Fuck off with your Soros-funded bullshit, because the, the people that fund you, Just Stop Oil, are oil tycoons. There's a reason why. It's because they want you to make artificial scarcity so that they can up their fucking stock prices. If you stop protesting, okay, genuinely just stop protesting and use your fucking brain... You will realize that the clothing you wear is made of oil. The transportation that you used to get to the event is made of oil. The signs you are using are PVC, which is made of br fucking oil, you twats. You hypocritical fucking twats. Do you understand that? Grow up. You need to do better. Literally, as my, as my boy Joey Swole says, mind your own business. You need to do better. Because you sure as fuck ain't doing it. But that's none of my business. So, if you truly want to fucking... And there's another thing. Open up trade schools again. Okay? Stop telling people that need need to go to a uni to get a bullshit fucking degree in interpretive dance or whatever it is. Or, or all that stupid shit. No, no, we don't need people to, to do interpretive dance. Okay? The guy is just a fucking twat who doesn't know how to dance. Okay? That's it. Ta-da! Fucking problem solved. Right? What we need is we need more plumbers, more welders, more fucking mechanics. We need... That's what we need. Open up trade schools. Make them free. Do you understand? There's no point in, in literally putting someone who wants to learn and earn a living. Go through fucking broken glass naked. On their bellies. Getting themselves so far in debt that they know they're not going to be able to afford to get themselves out of that debt. Think about this, okay? How many times has someone said, I need someone with an interpretive dance degree. Fucking no one. Or, I need someone with a feminist's degree. No one. Feminists are not needed. Feminism, one. You are not needed. You are surplus to requirements. Do you fucking understand that? You won. There is not a single fucking thing that a man can do that a woman can't. Okay? You have your equal rights. In fact, in many retrospects, you've actually gained more rights than us. Would you like to know how? When a draft comes around, are you going to get drafted? No. Why is that? So you get the benefits of having the ability to vote, which is what men got. And men only got that if they, if they served. Do you understand that? So if I served, okay, I got the ability to vote. You got that ability without the service part. Does that seem fair? Okay, how about this? What about the court system? The fact that even your own stats that you produce, okay, so that says that lesbian couples have a 70% divorce rate over domestic violence where there's no man involved. And yet a court system will always give custody to the child to the mother over the father. Even though the father may earn more money, may be a more responsible parent, may never gone to jail or prison, or even been on tag or hasbo or any of that, yet the woman has about nine kids from ten different fucking dads, yeah, lives on a council estate, sells shitty fucking weed and piss poor fucking psychic advice on Instagram or all that other stupid fucking shit, yeah? And yet, she knows, for, the, 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 the system knows for a fact that those kids are going to be perfect little drones. They're not going to think for themselves. They're not going to educate themselves. They're not going to fucking want to do something better other than either being on the dole all their life and just being a good old voting print machine for the Labour Party. Think about this. The educational system has failed. Failed.
ask anyone who's just graduated a, a school, secondary school, and I'm sorry, I don't call them fucking academies, okay? Who has graduated secondary school, okay? Ask them what laws they know. Ask them, do they know what the Magna Carta is? Ask them, do they know what their civil rights are? Ask them, do they know what their human rights are? And they'll tell you, no, I don't. Because they're not taught that in school. Why is that? Why is a gov- Why is the government, why is any government in particular, not teaching their citizens about their own laws and rules that they have to follow? To be a civilized society. You've got teachers that will tell you that 2 plus 2 equals 5, which it fucking doesn't, moron. It equals 4. If I hit you 4 times, I hit you 4 times. I didn't hit you 5. Well, technically, your head hitting the floor after my fucking fourth hit technically could count. But no, it wouldn't, morons. Point being... The educational system has failed. And I'm not just talking about England. Even the US educational system has failed. Any government's system has failed when they don't educate their people on what it is to be in that country. If you if you are if you're in England and the English government does not teach you what it is to be English. Where's our culture gone? Oh, that's right. Most people tell we don't have a culture because we've never been never been taught what our culture is. Our own police don't police. I will say that again. Every single police section, so. Yorkshire Police, Metropolitan Police, Lancashire Police. Literally, every fucking borough of police in the UK is under investigation for not policing, for not doing their jobs, for not actually going to crime scenes and taking fucking witness statements and fingerprints and doing their fucking job. But not a dicky word, not, not a single word is said in the newspapers. That would be fucking headline news. Front page news. Yet they're too busy arresting Catholic priests. Silently praying. And yet you've got fucking Muslim imams. Who have how many fucking mosques in this country? Doing public call to prayer in the centre of the road. On London Bridge. Near the Houses of Parliament. Sir Winston Churchill is fucking rolling in his grave. You smite, spineless, fucking little shit weasels. My family. Who fucking fought and died in both World War One and World War Two. Just be fucking glad that necromancy is not a real fucking thing. Because if it was, I would be resurrecting both Thatcher and fucking Churchill. Just to watch them beat Sunak around like a little red-headed stepchild. That little rat-faced fuck. You're, you're, You're a fucking number cruncher and a shit one at that. You are not a leader. In times of war... You will shit yourself and you will run. As the Joker said, you're a squealer. You can spot a squealer away from a fucking mile. You're a squealer. Every single one of you vile cunts at number 10 are squealers. You'll literally bend over and kiss anyone's ass. You cannot beg your way out of tyranny. Ask the Polish. 
Ask the French. Can you beg your way out of tyranny? Did Poland beg their way out of tyranny at the end of World War II? No. In fact, England gave them an old World War I ship that was barely upgradable to, 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 to be considered a World War II ship, and they attacked the Bismarck. I will say that again. A British ship that was given to the Free Polish Navy attacked the Bismarck. Laser Pig did a really fucking good video on it. I will link it in the video description down below. Laser Pig did a fucking kick-ass video on it. Now, if someone like Poland can do that, why can't we? Because you fucking fat cunt fat cats at number 10 and all your little hoity toities are so used to having your own little manservants do everything for you. Get off the slave teat. We ended slavery. England, white people, ended slavery. Do you understand that? Because it wasn't right. The word slave is Slavic. It's white. It's a white man's word. And it means unfair treatment. It's not a black word. Black people didn't invent slavery. You were just the last ones to suffer from it. And technically you still do. So if you want to end racism. If you want to end the whole fucking thing. Go to Africa. Go to certain parts of the Sahara. Pull them to the side and say. Why are you still doing this man? Why are you still enslaving these people? What's wrong with you? We did our part. The British Navy did its part. We, when we found out the Dutch East India Trading Company was still illegally doing slave trade, we sank their ships. We removed their cargo and then we sank their ships. And then the king literally sent a order of treason which means you're fucked. To the owner of the Dutch East India Trading Company. Who fled England. He fled England. And we still caught him. And he hanged. So don't tell me white people have done, haven't done anything for, for the black community. Fuck you. Yes we have. And no, I don't judge every black person. I don't expect you to judge every white person. It's wrong of you. It's wrong of me. You shouldn't judge anyone by the colour of their skin, but by the content of their character. If you act like a twat, you're a twat. You act like a cunt, you're a cunt. You act like a fool, you're a fool. I don't care what your skin colour is. I don't care what your religion is. I've served with Gurkhas, who are Asian. I've served with... Uh, uh, um, They wear turbans. Mm, it's going to bug me. Anyway, right, I've served with them. I've served with people from different religions all, all around. Did not have a single problem with any of them. And they did not have a problem with me. I don't have a racist bone in my body. My daughter is dating someone who's not white. Don't have a problem with that. Nev never had a problem with that. I just don't. I've dated outside of my skin colour. Don't have a problem with that. My third serious girlfriend was African American. We was together for quite a while. Uh, we're still friends. She still hits me up once in a while. Asks how I am on, on WhatsApp and things like that. We FaceTime, we talk. I don't have a problem with that. I genuinely don't. But when you act like savages, when you act like animals, when you act like monsters, when you act stupid, or, or, or some people call wilding out, a 
If I want to see animals, I'd go to the zoo. That's all I need to say. If you want to be a constructive member of society, stop removing fathers from the home. Stop, and I mean this. This is a, this is this, this is a this is a message message to women. Stop replacing fathers for a government tit, for food stamps, for 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 government assistance, for whatever. All right, just stop. If the man is good and kind to the kids and and works his ass off to provide for those kids, what's wrong with you? Why are you ruining that? For, it's not about you. Take yourself out of that situation. It's about your kids. But that's the thing. You're a fucking child yourself mentally. You can't take yourself out of that situation. It has to be all about you. No, it doesn't. Patrice. Or whatever your fucking stupid hood name is. Mercedes. Who the fuck names their kid after a car company? You twats. But seriously, it's got fuck all to do with you. It's about your damn kids. If your kids love their father and their father and their father loves their kids and will do anything for their fucking kids, why are you torturing that man? Because Uncle Sam says, here's a check every month. By the way, Uncle Sam can't afford that check. That's why you're going deeper and deeper and deeper into debt. You understand that, right? Just because you don't see that debt hitting your bank account doesn't mean that you're not going to have to pay for it because you are. And you think, oh, America just has got the printer, so printer go burr. No, no moron. Printer does not go burr. Okay? If you've got too much of one thing, it devalues it. Do you understand that? This is why there's something called the gold standard. And when America left the gold standard and went to the petro dollar standard this is where the just stop oil comes in when they keep doing their thing and country after country stops using oil that guess what de lowers the value of your US dollar I think it's Argentina or Venezuela I can't remember one of those two countries just switched straight over to a digital currency straight over to, 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 to Bitcoin that's why Bitcoin skyrocketed Computer, what's the current price for a Bitcoin? One Bitcoin is worth 67,250 US dollars, up 4.5% over the last 24 hours. It just got, it went up 5% in the last 24 hours. Do you understand that? Now, if you had that sort of level, but in your dollar, but you don't, because DNC go burr. It devalues everything. This is why, all of a sudden, well, why can't I afford what my great-grandfather had? Because that was a gold standard dollar at the time, you morons. Let me explain that again. There is a place in the States called Fort Knox. Fort Knox has a very large collection of gold. It doesn't. The US doesn't own that gold anymore. No, 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 no. That gold is now owned by countries like China, Saudi Arabia, England... Africa, France, Japan, China, you're literally holding gold hostage. Okay? Yet, all the other countries have to do is not pay the ransom, which is what the gold standard was, because you, the kidnappers, have said, we don't want that money anymore. We want this fake stuff that we can just print. Repeat after me. You're an idiot sandwich. Because that's exactly what you are. When you base your currency, you know, the thing that your country runs on, when you base your currency on something that can be easily swayed and manipulated by a foreign country, i.e. Saudi Arabia, anywhere like that, your country is fucked. But if you base it on something that you control, like gold, you have the power. I got the power. 
I got the power. But you don't. Because the Federal Reserve, something you barely even understand, your Federal Reserve said, no, we're going off the gold standard. Amazingly, after Kennedy was shot. And you're going to the petrodollar. Do you have any idea the amount of untapped oil that is in the US that you guys can't tap anymore because sleepy creepy Joe (laughs) said no more. We're going to get all of our oil from the Middle East. Seriously, do some research and you'll find that Why is the DNC even a thing? By the way, if you must know, the Democratic National Convention, the DNC, originally started off as a lynching mob. Yes, lynching, as in grab someone, hang them from a tree. A lynching mob by the Ku Klux Klan. The KKK started the DNC. Think I'm joking. Do some research. Seriously, do some research. The Democratic Party was founded and started by slave owners who wanted to keep their slaves, and they do, but you just don't see the chain around your neck. You just don't see the cotton that you have to pick because it comes in the form of a check each month. They buy their votes. And they do it all legally. This is why if the DNC was to lose power, even for a second. Think about this. Name, 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 here you go. I'll, I'll, I'll do it Destiny style. Ready? Here we go. Uh, name all DNC run cities in the USA. Okay. Here you go. 2024, uh, uh, Democratic National Convention, okay, uh, which it doesn't list the cities, I want you to list the cities that are run by the DNC, like, hello, could you just, I don't want to know about the caucus, I just, Wow, it will not, Google will not list the cities, I know Chicago is one of them, shithole, Uh, New York, shithole, California, shithole, it's amazing how every city that's run by by a democratic governor, okay, are all just magic shitholes, now, let me picture it like this, if the DNC really truly did care about people, and I mean this, if they really did care, if they really did care about, especially like things like California with the whole fucking, you know, shitting on the streets and various other things, it's amazing how before the Chinese Prime Minister showed up, They magically cleaned all the streets of all the shit and all the homeless. And yet once Xi Jinping left and came back, all the shit magically just reappeared. Seriously, do yourselves a favour. Stop voting Democrat. Seriously, just stop. And I'm not saying vote Republican. There are third party candidates. But stop voting DNC. That's all I need to say. Coffee's done. Video's done. Cancel.
I'll see you next time.